And we're back. Um, so first of all, I'd like to just go ahead and thank everyone for, you know, managing to stick with the series for 10 whole episodes. Um, that's pretty exciting. I just, um, I, I really don't know, like, how um, to express the fact that, like, I just didn't think like this series would go for this long and um to still have people tuning in and viewing it's pretty cool like i know um i'm still a fledgling startup channel so um you know like the views aren't exactly massive every video but that's fine because as long as like people will keep watching them i'll keep making them um so yeah um if you saw the last episode, you might have seen that there was sort of like a big jump from uh, one thing to another thing. Um, and that's because, unfortunately, uh, episode nine uh, actually ended up being recorded with absolutely no audio whatsoever. Um, usually I'm pretty diligent about things like that, but I guess in this case I just didn't notice that my mic was muted so that's unfortunate um so what i'll do is um i thought it was sort of a cool episode so like i would just go through it very quickly um so um the the thing that's here um that we can see is uh the start of my brand new mod um so this was just sort of uh be showing off the fact that um right like all of the tiles are marked as explored which means you haven't unlocked them, right? So this is sort of like the, the uh, tile man mode thing that I was talking about. So that's that. And then um, we go ahead and um, break into like this sort of facility here. Um, I think it's called like Logistics Facility West or something like that. Um, so yeah, there's like a bunch of zombies outside. Uh, we have a rifle, so clearing them is like fairly easy. Um, so we just do that for a while. Um, we lure some of the zombies towards like these uh, fungal thingies. Uh, so here we are. <clears throat> and then we just take care of the rest with um, a bunch of vehicles we find in the parking lot. Uh, that was sort of like the easiest way to go about it. Um, interestingly enough, uh, we're then able to get into the building using a visitor pass. Right, so this is me uh, having gone through the door, uh, and then I just check this out. I see that there are um, ammo links, which implies that there's like a robot like wandering around shooting, which is pretty scary. Um, but it was weird because like these, this like little inner room was locked, and I didn't see it, so I didn't know where it was. So that sort of freaked me out. Um, <clears throat> we go like into this main facility, and we sort of explore around a little bit. Um, for the most part, you know, we find some cards, but as you can see, there's like a lot of these locked doors and we just, uh, didn't have the correct key cards in order to, uh, get through. Um, so we just sort of wander a little bit. Um, then there's like this big long hallway. Uh, there's a couple zombies. We take care of those. Um. But one thing that sort of is freaky is if we uh, go forward a bit more, we eat our vegetable pizzas. And I think once we uh, come out of this room, we encounter like, yeah, a robot. And then as you can see um, in the top right, like our torso is just like heavily bleeding. Um, and yeah, we can see in the logs that M16A4 Talon UGV fires its M16 burst rifle. So we just get hit in the chest. Um, luckily, um, we have our flashlight on in this situation. So we just turn that off and then it can't see us. And then we just uh, return fire. So yeah, you hear a blam. And then we can see the uh, turret over there. So we just turn off the flashlight. And then uh, take care of the UGV because we're in, we're in the darkness, so to speak. Um, then we explore a bit more. Uh, we see like a bunch of freaky mutants, like a horribly mutated experimental subject. So this one looks like a spider, um, which is pretty freaky. Um, 
So I think we take care of that one through the glass. But um, this entire like time, I was like super unnerved because, um, you know, like one, the mutants are freaky, and then look how freaky this one is. What the heck? The camouflage mutant. Um, it's got a set of knife-sized fangs. It's just utterly terrifying. Uh, so yeah, we, we shoot it through the glass, I believe. And then we uh, shoot the spider through the glass as well. Uh, we continue to explore around. And then we find like this freaky mutant, an enormous mutant hidden between a gray segmented shell. Um, it's got dozens of unblink unblinking eyeballs. It's very freaky. Um, so yeah, we, we shoot it. Blam, good hit. So that implies a critical. And then the critical reflects off the shell mutants they hide. So at this point, I'm like completely freaking out. I'm really not sure like how to take care of this thing. Um, after a little while, I decide to um, one, like leave, right? Explore a bit more. But then when I come back, I let it out and then throw a grenade. Because I figure, you know, like grenades are pretty good at like taking care of these sorts of um, super tanky enemies. So I run back, I throw the grenade, it explodes literally right next to it. And then it says, the shield mutant is hit by an immense number of bomb fragments, but they deal no damage. So basically at this point, I'm thinking this thing is like completely invincible. I don't have any more key cards for this lab thing. And... Um, this thing is now just like in the central hallway. So at this point, I just sort of like leave uh, in a panic and then uh, proceed to um, just like go uh, through because I found a uh, mechanical key card and I just like start exploring the outside here. Um, I, don't, I don't have like another key card for like this back entrance. So what I do is I just like grab the truck. Oh yeah, there's some lore. I've read that for a little while. Um, so yeah, I grab the truck, and then I think I just like, oh yeah, I break off the uh, side mirror, which is sort of funny. Um, and then I like line it up, and then here we can watch this happen. I just like gun it back through. Um, we're actually moving pretty slow, so it's surprising how much damage this truck does. See, we're going 31, and then bam, we just like break through like this reinforced... Um, uh, you know, like door or whatever, and just completely like collapse the ceiling and stuff. And we just like break our way through into here. It's sort of like a storage warehouse. Um, and one thing that happens is there's like these little um, bots that fly around and that they, they scanned me. And then like all of these like drones and stuff started coming out. Uh, these things are basically impossible to hit. Um, like, really, the only chance you have of hitting them is if they're right next to you. But if they're right next to you, right, they're attacking you. So um, your aim is constantly disrupted, so you can't hit them that way either. So I, I like, basically ignore, like, these random man hacks. Um, and then I just start sneaking through to the left. Yeah, the tear gas explodes, but we have a gas mask. Um, so we kill some robots. Um, I don't bother checking most of these crates, really. Yeah, and then here's where we, we see a bunch of other robots. Um, so as you can see, like we're riding a golf cart and we're getting like absolutely swarmed. Like our left arm is bleeding, our left leg is bleeding. Like our torso is hurt. Um, all our limbs are getting cut up by like all of these robots. So, um, you know, I basically just gun it out using the golf cart. And then we managed to escape. Um, if we didn't have that golf cart, I think we were actually done for just because of how many robots there were. Um, and then here was just like a bunch of me being finicky and like trying to like drive this car through this tiny little gap in the fence. Um, it was very annoying because like as you can see the the um car's light is hitting like reinforced concrete so it's just not doing anything um but eventually we get the car out and then um what we ended up finding in the lab was a bunch of books and then you know we 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 went to the last man on earth shelter so we found a mosin and 
then we just drive back to the exit. So um, that was sort of like the episode that we missed there. Um, again, unfortunate that you guys didn't see my reactions to the mutants because I was like legitimately freaking out. Um, I, I have no idea like what their capabilities were or like, and they seem to be taking almost no damage. So it was definitely like a, a freaky experience. So that was um, the real episode nine, um, which was supposed to come before the episode nine that was posted, but because I had no audio, I just went ahead and posted episode 10. And then um, we can go ahead and take a look real quick at um, the footage for um, what happened after episode 10. So um, I didn't really commentate over any of this because it was all very boring. But basically what happened was, um, right, like we drove back to Rubik and then um, we found a bunch of like CBM. So all I did was just like constantly install them over and over. So it just like took a long time. I ended up selling the anesthetic because um, it was, um, you know, worth like 150 bucks or something in barter. So that was great. Um, we, I'll go through like the uh, CBMs that we have at like the beginning of this episode. But yeah, so basically we found like a Humvee. Uh, then we went to the uh, military helipad to get gas because we were almost out. So you can see fuel is at 1%. Um, and then, yeah, here I saw like a gigantic clump of like soldier zombies. Um, if you've played the game for a while, you know that these things are basically pinatas, loot pinatas, because like, and then yeah, here's, um, I just grabbed like a, a barrel of JP8 fuel and then look how much fuel we got. Bam, 50 liters. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, those things are loot pinatas. And then, um, you know, I, I needed more grenades. So I just went ahead and just like uh, honked my horn. Yeah, here. And then if you look in the top right, you can see the sound is 120, which is insane. Um, it's super, super loud. So it just lured all of the zombies over. And then um, once that happened, I just like sort of just like drove around and ran them over. Oh yeah, here here they are. Um, they went to the source of the honk sound. And then I just like accelerate like crazy, right? I just like go back to build up some speed, then turn around. And then just like plow through all these guys. Yeah, here we go. Um, the engine on this thing is faulty, so it's got like very poor acceleration. So you can see even on the road, it's like barely acceler accelerating. But um, we still managed to do like a whole bunch of like pretty good damage. Like, look at that. We took out like 10 soldier zombies just through like one pass. It's pretty good. <clears throat> so I just like do this back and forth. Um, amazingly, I don't think our vehicle took like a single like visual pip of damage, right? Like it just remains looking exactly the same um, after running over 30 soldier zombies, which I didn't think was possible. Um, so I just go through, grab a bunch of MREs, grab a bunch of grenades, grab a bunch of military ID cards, and that's about it. And then I then drive back over. I I, I see um, this random guy who's like um, in a scrapyard, right? And then like really what got me to stop was this... Um, mechanical pump. I think we need the mechanical pump to train um, um, launcher weapons, right? Because like, I think you're supposed to like um, pump up like a uh, pneumatic cannon and then you use that as like practice or whatever. Um, but yeah, apparently like there was, there's like an NPC that hangs out in the uh, top of the building. Oh yeah, and this this is like it's got a crazy amount of gas. Yeah, there's like the NPC. Um, so because the NPC is here, we can't actually grab the um, hand pump, which is annoying. So really, there was no point in us being here. Um, all he wanted us to do was find 25 magnetrons, which are, you know, like parts of a microwave. So apparently, you know, if you dismantle a bunch of microwaves, you can uh, do that quest. But really, all that would allow us to do is trade with like the guy for scrap and we didn't really need that at all so we continued to drive um i started to drive towards the exit just because by this point you know we've been um out and about for i think 
literally the entire day, like 14 hours or something like that, just because of how long it took to install the CBMs. So, right, like, um, we were going to get kicked out due to the um, warp pulses. Um, but what happened was um, the exit is fairly close to the other lab that was, like, um, close to the ant nest. Um, so what I ended up doing was simply driving like to this other lab. Yeah, and then that was me climbing a radio tower to get a bunch of view. And then, he, yeah, here's all the uh, stuff we collected. And then here's here are all the ants. So what I did was like, I'm trying to lure them all to one place. So there I honked. So all these ants are now coming because they're like drawn to sound more than light. Um, so there's like a massive amount of them there, and then right up, it's just like very thin, finicky. I'm like trying to um, get into the the uh, science facility, but I don't realize that I no longer have a science ID card. It's a one time use. Um, so what I end up doing is like circling around, and then I like crash into the building or whatever. Oh yeah, this is also interesting. I don't know if I will explore this, but there's like an entrance into the ant hill, um, which is sort of very frightening. And then yeah, you can see like the giant pile of ants that came over because I honked or whatever. And then I think I throw a grenade or something to um, lure in even more ants. And yeah, you can see just like the insane amount of ants. So this is me like parking right next to it. And then I get out and then realize I can't uh, use the science ID. And now we're being hemmed in by ants with our very weak engine. So it's like a very dangerous situation. Luckily, uh, these giant ants are easy to hit. So I just like full auto it down and then take it out. Um, it's definitely one of the most annoying things in this game that like things just sort of like clip into your car. Um, but I guess it is what it is. Yeah. And then, yeah, you saw me open the door there. I'm pretty sure that was because I threw the grenade and that's why I'm deafened. Uh, so I drive around. I think this is where we um, try to break through the wall or whatever. So bam, we like destroy two tiles. Um, the wall is actually two tiles thick. So then I just like turn around and um, ram this part again. And then that gives us just enough of a gap that we can enter, as you can see. So we do that. Um, there's just like a gigantic wall of ants just everywhere all the time. Even with me like luring grenades. Um, I don't know if you can see this on the mini map, but in the rightmost corner there is where all of the ants that like came to the grenade went. Like that's truly just a, a massive absurd amount of ants. There's probably like a hundred. And now that I look at it, it's literally 100. As you can see, we can see 10 soldier ants and 89 ants. So it's literally 99 ants. It's insane. Oh, and, and it's actually even more. Like there, it was showing 200 ants. So yeah, we, we, we can see the entire thing. We can see 17 soldier ants, 3 giant ants, and 205 ants. So yeah, it's it's actually like a miracle that like I decided to throw the grenade because this would have been just like such a pain in the butt to um you know try to clear this many ants is just actually absurd. Um the annoying part is because I like ran the wall, right? Like these ants came to the source of the sound. Um so I had to just like keep on like running them over and then running them over like created more sounds so more ants would come so it was just like a perpetual cycle of just like me having to constantly run over ants it was just very annoying and then i think um another ant like sort of clipped into the car so i had to fire my gun um which destroyed like one of the windshields or something yeah and then this is me like trying to line it up so that way like the car is blocking um the ants or whatever, but um, I could never get it to the point where um, it was fully blocking the um, entrance into the lab. So what I realized was if I, since I couldn't block the entrance, right? Like, and my Humvee had no battery, it means I would have to leave it running, which meant that, right? Like once I went into the lab, 
all of the ants would eventually like congregate towards my Humvee, and then I would have to literally deal with like killing three hundred ants or something stupid. Um, so I had to like go back and then try to find a. Yeah, and then this was me trying to maneuver it so I would like block the entrance a bunch, but I just never figured it out. So then this is me. Um... Oh yeah, this is this is where I um, destroyed the paneling or whatever because the the soldier ant came over and then when I shot a full auto, like the full auto bullets like destroyed part of the uh, vehicle or whatever. Um, so yeah, I like extract the battery from this car i install it into my humvee so that way i can turn it off and then i drive back um park it like so um i throw another grenade just in case and then it seems to only lure the soldier ants so then there's just like a frightening number of soldier ants just like all marching towards the left uh very spooky and then all i end up doing is um you know like getting out once the soldier ants have all gone turn off my humvee um so yeah as you can see there's like a gap right at the driver's seat so that's like precarious really hope there's no like ants that get in there and then i just like run past this one ant and then now i'm in this uh unexplored lab so yeah that's that's where we um are going to be starting um funnily enough there's still one last thing i'd like to show off um so I've been uh, working on like a little mod. Um, so here's like the Visual Studio code or whatever. Um, I went ahead and, oh, I think I, I, I broke something in the code, hold on. Um, yeah, let's ignore that for now. And then we'll just like, start the build from last time. So we'll just uh, play now. And then I can just sort of show off what I have. Um, so this is like a new build. As you can see, it's like it's got the dirty tag or whatever because it's like a dirty build. Um, so um, yeah, I, this is just some random like debug information. But like these are the tiles. Um, that we're working with and then it says you've unlocked a new tile and then like the tile um i guess uh coordinates and then it says tiles unlocked one of one so basically the way it works is um right like this is sort of the the tile that we have unlocked and um it's just surrounded by wasp hive or whatever and then um we can smash through it. <laughs> you use your flip and face to smash the paper wall extreme. But as you can see, if we uh, exit the uh, perimeter without having enough um, kills to unlock the next tile, it says you don't have enough kills to unlock this tile. You disintegrate slightly. Um, so now our character has um, pain, basically. Right, so like the longer you stay out here, the pain gets worse and worse, right? So our speed is going down and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, if we, we can go ahead and like cheat in, let's spawn an item, sure. I think we can grab like a grenade launcher or something. I don't actually know which one of these is the grenade launcher. Hmm. Um, so having said that, let's just go ahead and like spawn an M4, sure, or tried and true. Okay, we'll wield that, and then we can spawn in some zombies. Uh, sure, fungal zombie, why not? So we spawn that there, spawn that there, three, four, five, okay. And now that uh, we've done that, we can simply um, take these out. There we go. Um, so if we look at our log, our achievement log, it says five kill count. So that allows us to unlock a new tile. 
So if we walk out here, bam, so we've unlocked the new tile. Um, so it says tiles unlocked two of two. And the reason we were able to unlock this new one is because um, we killed five additional zombies. So yeah, that's sort of like the way uh, the mod works so far, right? Like every five kills, we get to unlock a new tile. I'm thinking the way this will work is like, it makes sense for us to start in say the city just because, right? Like there's a ton of zombies everywhere and um, right, like there's a high one one there's a ton of zombies right so um it actually allows us to unlock tiles but two um there's actually interesting stuff in every tile thanks to like the high density of zombies so um yeah that's that's how the mod is looking so far so I'll continue to keep you guys updated on that and now without uh further ado let's go ahead and start the next episode all right um i think what i'll do actually is um that was mostly a recap um so we can go ahead and just like start on the next episode so i'll stop the recording here and then i'll just restart it um so it can just be split up into like two videos